In this video, I want to introduce you to the equation of the circle. So here is a circle, and this is the unit circle. So a unit circle is the circle that has a radius 1, and in this case, centered at 0, 0. So in other words, if I just choose a point on the circle, so that point there, for example, let's give that coordinates of x, y. Then if I draw a line from the centre of the circle to that point, then the length of that line will be a radius, and it will have length 1, OK, because it's a unit circle. Now, if I drop a perpendicular from that point, and I form a right-angled triangle, what I can then say is that I have a right-angled triangle with a base length. If I've said that that's the coordinate x, then it has a base of x, and it has a height of y. And then Pythagoras' theorem would say, so Pythag would say, well, that means that x squared plus y squared must be equal to 1. And this identifies the equation of this circle, a circle that is centred at 0, 0 and of radius 1. So if I then extend this and I go, well, let's say I now look at a circle with radius 2, then the equation would be x squared plus y squared equals 2 squared, or 4. And if I then change this to a 3, then the equation would be x squared plus y squared equals 9. OK? So this is a basic circle centred at the origin, but you can start to see how the equation is built up. And it all comes back to Pythagoras' theorem. And we're going to use that quite a lot in this section. OK? So in the next video, I want to extend these ideas uh, so you can start positioning your circle at any coordinates, so the centre is at any coordinates, and the circle is any size as well.